not undermine the rage of the, of the community at this stage. And I wouldn't like to see some disorder within the society because of the applicant's presence. A ruling welcomed by Messiah's family. For them, it's a small victory. The magistrate spent hours explaining the reasons for his decision. He raised concern over how the community could react if the nine were given bail. The state is still to decide whether it will add a charge of defeating the ends of justice. It says Masia was not charged when he arrived at the police station and that police only opened a case of assault and robbery hours after his death. The state says the case number was also dated incorrectly. IPUD welcomed the Nobel ruling. We opposed bail from the beginning and uh, the judgment on the bail application has vindicated our position. and. Uh, we basically accept the, the decision of the court. We continue with our investigation to finalize this matter and bring it to trial. The nine suspects are expected to be back in court on the 12th of April. We now cross to our reporter outside the Benoni Magistrates Court, Mangoba Nkunu. A very good evening to you, Mangoba. Can you expand on the reasons why bail was denied? Well, for Bakshini, there are many reasons as to why the accused were denied bail today. Of course, uh, the, the magistrate, Sam Makam, went through uh, them in much detail. Uh, some of them uh, that uh, he did uh, indicate was that he felt that it was not in the interest of justice to release the accused on bail, saying that firstly, they did not give enough reasons as to how uh, Masia ended up dying in police cells and why he was dragged from the incident. He also pointed out that uh, he did not feel that they took responsibility, neither of them, neither the nine of them took responsibility for Masia's death. Even though he said that he does, not, he does believe that they will not flee from uh, justice, he still thinks that releasing them will be a danger to themselves because he feels that there's been a lot of public outrage regarding the issue. He says that uh, public members and, and community members from Davidson have displayed a lot of anger, including uh, they've even threatened to kill the police uh, members if they were released on bail. He said that the court cannot ignore the fact that this has caused a, a very huge outcry and that if these police are released, he feels that the court will be taking too big a risk. He also cited the fact that he feels that these uh, accused did not give him alternative addresses, which shows that their plan to go back to the community and this will create a public disorder because there will be violence and, and they might also even be attacked by community members. He said that the fact that, uh, they, 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 that most of the witnesses in this case happen to be policemen, as the state has indicated before, that uh, some of the witnesses will include their fellow colleagues uh, who are police who saw the event and who, who were also there at the holding cells when Masia was brought. They said they feel that uh, it's, it won't even take a brain scientist to figure out that they will make contact with some of these police, whom are their colleagues. So the magistrate said that it felt that it was not in the best interest of justice to let them go on bail. Thank you very much. That was our reporter, Mangoba Mkunu, Mkunu rather, coming to us live from outside the Benoni Magistrates Court, expanding there on the details that the magistrate gave for denying bail to the nine policemen. Now, this was the reaction.